When we talk about climate change, you hear a lot about fossil fuels, but agriculture, and in particular cattle, are also a big part of the conversation. Canada is home to 11.2 million farm cattle. Of that, around 40% are located in Alberta, and close to 20% live in Saskatchewan. Of course, cows are not man-made, so how do they contribute to climate change? The answer? It's complicated, and you have to look at the positives and the negatives of the cattle industry. It all starts here, in the pasture. Vegetation absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and stores it in its grasses and underground root system. Around 80% of Canadian cattle feed is forage, and that forage supply represents a significant carbon store. But the industry comes with its own carbon footprint. Emissions from the cattle industry include carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide from manure, cropland, fertilizers, and other production. But the one we all hear about is methane. When cows digest food, they create methane. Enteric methane, or the methane that cows burp and breathe out, is a shorter-lived greenhouse gas, but it can have a big effect on global warming. When it comes to trapping heat, methane is more potent than carbon dioxide and contributes 3.3% of our total Canadian greenhouse gas budget. Researchers have found that changes to a cow's diet can actually help reduce methane emissions. Even broader changes, like fertilizers and dietary supplements, even breeding. And Canada is already making steps forward. The carbon footprint, or the greenhouse gas emission per kilogram of beef in Canada, was similar to what had been reported in the U.S. And it was uh, pretty much the lowest carbon footprint of any country who had been quoted for beef. And Canada's not alone. The Global Methane Pledge aims to reduce methane emissions by 30% by the year 2030 from what they are now. And many producers are already on board. You know, when I sit down with producers and we're having a conversation about how we can do things better, uh, you know, the ideas are just flowing back and forth and everybody really takes the responsibility of being a steward of the land. But a solution to agricultural emissions is not a one-size-fits-all. Every farm is different and may need a number of different strategies and technologies. The trick is finding the right balance.